so it's been a while since I filmed an empties video. I checked on my channel and the last one I did was in March. So this is kind of a seven to eighth, eight months um, empties video. She's definitely not empty. <laughs> But she wants to chill, so whatever. Um, but this is all the empties that I've uh, acquired. So let's just get into it because I kind of feel like this might be a little bit longer than I would like. So let's get into some products over here. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. Um, again, you guys have heard me talk about this so much. I use this to set the sunscreen on my neck. And I am pretty generous with it because I do not want my sunscreen to move so I go through it pretty decently because I mean I cover my neck and kind of down my decollete um and again I'm generous with it so I still use this I still love this I don't know if they've discontinued it or not but I have a bag full of backups because I still haven't found a product to replace this if they are discontinuing it I've been purchasing some and trying some other ones and stuff like that but I just love this one the most so Used up quite a few of those. And then these are the e.l.f. Uh, matte blotting powders. I love these for touching up throughout the day. They just kind of take down shine. And I feel like they also kind of reduce the pores. And just make your skin look really nice for like touching up. Um, one thing about these, the compact, the lid constantly breaks off for me. So you can see there's a little bit of product around the edges. But I just get sick and tired of putting the broken lid back on. And that's happened to both of these I believe. I think this one, yeah, this one's broke as well. So, um, good thing they're relatively inexpensive, but the product inside is super nice. So I used up two of those guys. Again, that's the e.l.f. Matte Blotting Powder. And then you guys just saw me haul another one of these. This is the Origins Hello Calm Relaxing and Hydrating Face Mask with Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. Um, so I've used up two of these. I've got one in my bathroom that's almost done, and I just purchased another one. I love to use this on like a Saturday. Um, and then kind of do a nice exfoliation with another product that I'll show you. But just a super nice mask and it just really helps uh, my dry skin. Here we've got an RCMA, the original uh, no color powder. This is a three ounce bottle. I recently filled up my sifter jar that I use. I just use a kind of a recycled loose powder jar because it's really difficult to use the product out of here. And I've been refilling it for quite some time and I finally emptied out the last of this. This is my favorite, I would say, if not my favorite, one of my favorite under eye setting powders. I use it quite a bit. It's just a really good flawless powder. It also works really nicely to set the entire face. And then over here you can see that I've used up uh, five of the Leilani Coconut Cream Cleansing Powders. This is one of my favorite morning cleansers. I recently purchased two more of them and I noticed there's a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a pepper or something, but there's a little bit something different about the most recent ones that I've got. So I don't know if they switched the formula or not, but it kind of used to, kind of used to give me like sherbet ice cream vibes and I really love to use it in the morning, but now I'm not so sure. Poppy, Poppy, <laughs> um, I'm not so sure. I still like it, but I don't like that slight, it's kind of a burning sensation that I get from uh, the newer formula. They had to have added something to it, but in any event, I've got one more of these that I'm using right now, and I'm iffy. I may or may not repurchase it afterwards, because again, I don't care for the change that they've done. And then I've got two of the anti-redness exfoliating solutions from Paula's Choice. This is a 2% salicylic acid toner that I used to use morning and night religiously. Um, I've since switched over to this guy right here, so you'll see a ton of bottles of those. But I, this is also a really, really good one. I find that my skin is just a little less dry with the 2% um, uh, BHA liquid exfoliant compared to the clear. But this is an amazing product for helping to keep my skin clear. Uh, if you've watched a couple of my empties prior, I've gone through several of these, so I've got two of those, and then I transferred into the exfoliate, which how many bottles do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven big bottles, and then two minis that I had used when I traveled, and those are just so handy to have. So this is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, again with salicylic acid. I just, again, feel like it is a little bit more hydrating on my skin, but still really effective in keeping my skin clear. Uh, still use it morning and night 
religiously and I love this stuff it's really really good and in conjunction with that I use uh, these guys over here I'll just talk about them since I use kind of these products together this is the Paula's Choice Clear Daily Skin Clearing Treatment with two and a half benzoyl peroxide. They've also switched the packaging on this. This white one is the old one and the blue is the new one. Again, I use this religiously morning and night. This also comes in a 5% if you wanted something a little bit stronger. In the nighttime, I do mix it with Differin Gel which you can now buy at like Walmart and CVS and stuff like that. It used to be you had to have a prescription, but now you can buy it in the store, which I think is awesome. So this is a 0.1% adapalene. And at night, I mix uh, a pea-sized amount of this with a, probably a pea-sized amount of that. Sometimes I use a little bit more of the different um, ratio-wise with the clear, but I use these at night again to help keep my skin clear. And I've gone through quite a few tubes of this stuff as well. There's a little bit of construction going on in the basement, so if you hear a little bit of power tools and stuff like that, my apologies. But anyway, I purchased this guy here during the Sephora sale in September. It's the Stacked Skincare EGF Activating Serum. And I was using this morning and night, and I was really enjoying it. I feel like it brought some hydration to my skin and stuff like that. I am kind of regretting not picking up another one of these during this last Sephora sale, but I've got so many skincare products that I'm trying to work through. I was like, try to use up some of those and then come back to it. But I think I'll probably end up repurchasing, repurchasing this at some point, but I really enjoyed it. It's quite expensive, but I really liked it. It does not have the nicest smell in the universe, though. And then I was using the Ursa Major Hop and Fresh deodorant. It's a uh, all-natural deodorant. I really like this. I'd gone through quite a few of these. And then I had bought this little tiny guy when I went traveling from Native at Target. And I really enjoyed this guy. And it's a bit cheaper and it does the job. So I now use this deodorant and I've got it in a big size. But this is just a cute little travel size one. Here's a full size of the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Um, I enjoy this kind of more like a treatment product. It doesn't have enough moisture in it for as kind of thick as it feels. And I kind of feel the same way about the uh, Lala Whipped Cream as well. This is a smaller travel size. And then here's a little mini of the Proteiny Polypeptide as well. I like those products, but I feel like I want more. So when I use them, I always mix them with something because I, I want a little more hydration or nourishment feeling on my skin. So I kind of use these like like treatment products. And then moving over here is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Um, I love these. I have several backups. I have one in use when I travel. This is a great one for a removing of makeup and then also a cleanse afterwards. Like you can double cleanse with the same product. And then this is the Very Cherry Clean. Oh my gosh. This smells so good. Like so, so good. They need to make it part of their permanent range. I just really feel like pharmacy needs to make this permanent because <laughs> it's it's divine. I feel like the formula between the two is the same. They just kind of have a different smell. This smells amazing as well. Um, but this, I, I love the cherry version as well. So I went through, what do I got? Six, six of these uh, cleansing balms from pharmacy. And again, I still use it. I still love it. It's it's awesome. Then I saw this Physician's Formula, the Perfect Matcha 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm and thought I'd give it a try. Thought maybe they were kind of triggering the Pharmacy Green Clean. Um, I, I liked this. It did the job um, with removing makeup, but I needed to second cleanse with it. I, I didn't feel like it completely rinsed off my skin, but it did break down makeup really well. And then this one here is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. Um, at some point, I may purchase the trio that they sell on Beautylish. Uh, that's where you can get the Good Molecules brand. I think that this does a really, really good job of getting off makeup as well. Like when I was using this, I would remove all my makeup with this and then I'd go in with like the uh, Pharmacy Green Clean or something like that afterwards because that just that just makes your skin feel so nice and extra, extra clean, the, the Green Clean one does. But um, I enjoyed how nicely this one broke down and removed makeup. And then here is the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser from Drunk Elephant. It's got a little spatula that's magnetized to the lid. I enjoyed this as well. Um, and I can I can foresee myself purchasing this again. Um, I don't know when, but I, ca I can see myself purchasing it again. I enjoyed using it. They did send this to me in PR and I fully enjoyed it. And then I, I really liked this and I totally used it wrong, the Bamboo Booster. 
I used this by itself because I did not read the directions. <laughs> You're supposed to mix a little bit of this in with the melting butter. And so now I'm, I am tempted to get another one just so I can try it how it was supposed to be used because this little uh, bamboo booster is only in the with the cleanser. You can't like buy it by itself. So um, again, I enjoyed using both of these products. I might enjoy using this one more if I use it properly, <laughs> but um, I can I can see myself purchasing this guy again because I did really enjoy it. Then over here to the side, I have got one of the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, I just ran out of this and I can see myself purchasing this again probably the next time I place a Beautylish order. I like to mix this in with the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm at night. Um, it's just a really good serum. I can I feel like my skin is more hydrated when I put this in with it. I just really like it and it's relatively inexpensive and effective. And then I've got two of the Good Molecules Super Peptide Serum. This one I use kind of after my treatment products. I, I've used it in the day and at night. I've also mixed it with other moisturizers. It's just a super nice serum. So I used up two of those and I did purchase another one of them during the Beautylish gift card event. So I have another one in use as well. Just a really nice serum right there. And then moving up here, I have got two of the super big Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. This is the 3.38 fluid ounce. I feel like this sells out really quickly. I like to get these ones because you save a little bit more money for as much product as you're getting as opposed to the um, smaller version. So I use up two of those guys. And then I've got three of the 50 ml 1.68 fluid ounce jars that I've used up as well. I use this every single night. Sometimes I use it by itself. Sometimes I mix in oils with it or serums and stuff like that. But it's just a a wonderful go-to moisturizer, like no bells and whistles, no burning, no strange reactions or anything like this. Just I just feel like it's pure moisture and it's pretty um, kind of heavier type of a cream, but I need that especially in the wintertime because I do have dry skin and I've been using this for a while. This is, I found this from uh, Stephanie Nicole who also loves and uses it, but I purchased two sets during this for sale recently of this as well and I continue to use it every single night so this is not to be confused with the True Cream Aqua Moisturizing Balm. This is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm which is thicker. And then I've got one of the Vitality Elixirs from Mahalo, the Multi-Correctional Facial Serum. I really enjoy this serum and I've used up a couple others and re continue to repurchase it but again I've been trying to go through some serums and moisturizers and stuff that I still have that I want to go through but I can definitely see myself purchasing this again. It smells divine and Mahalo is just a super luxe like all natural brand. I just ordered their most recent project product that they launched uh, maybe a week or two ago. I can't remember the exact name of it but it's supposed to have like a, a retinal type of effect to it so I'm really excited to get that guy but this is just a beautiful brand. So I used, also used up the Unveil uh, what is it? The Cleanser Melt Concentrate. And I have another one of these in use as well. This here I use kind of as a treat when I really have a, a minute to kind of cleanse and massage my face. And it smells, it smells so good. Like, like I've never been to Hawaii, but if I could ever imagine what Hawaii smells like, it'd be like this. <laughs> All of these products kind of smell like how I imagine Hawaii to smell, I guess. But Here's a mini of the Rare Indigo as well. I've got a full size of this in use as well. And it's a blue indigo balm that, again, the smell is just absolutely divine. I love Mahalo products. I want to get the masks again. I'm out of the masks. I've been out of them for a while. But, again, trying to go through products. And then moving over here, i got a couple of hair products. This is the Inner Sense Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. I've got three of those guys in the big size. Um, I purchased these off of Beauty Heroes, which is a all-natural kind of beauty site. And I'm a member to their box, so I do get 15% off the products on that site. I really love the products on that site. Um, but I've since moved on. I've got another bottle of these to use up. But I've since moved on to a different leave-in conditioner that I've got at Ulta. My mom kind of turned me on to it and I absolutely love it. So um, I just finished up one of those. I should grab it. Let me go grab it and I'll show it to you guys. So I've got maybe one more use out of this guy before it's used up. But I love this stuff. It's from AG Hair Care. It's the Conditioning Mist Detangling Spray. Um, and it's got moisture in it. I've got fine, naturally curly, really thick hair that is um, prone to the frizz. <laughs> so this stuff is really amazing for that. My, my hair hasn't kind of been frizzy 
since I got this and so I'll continue to repurchase this one probably over the Innersense one. And then this one right here is the Innersense I Create Finish uh, Finishing Spray. It's kind of like a hairspray uh, all natural one. I'm out of this and I may repurchase it. I'm not sure. I've got another hairspray that I'm trying to use up so um, I do enjoy it. It's kind of got a, a stiff kind of hold to it but um, I like that it's an all natural situation so and then I've got two of the first aid beauty fab skin lab retinal eye creams I have got one of these in use right now as well this is one of the only retinol products that I've been able to find and use around my eyes that doesn't make them itch or turn them red or fry them off um, so I really like this lately I've been using it in the morning time um, as opposed to both because I, I need something a little bit thicker at night. So som sometimes I layer this at nighttime as well, but it's not quite as hydrating as something that I need. So I, again, I use it kind of like a treatment product because it's one of the few retinol products that I can put around my eyes. Coming over here, I have got three of the Dr. Jart Premium BB Beauty Balm. I would mix the light medium with the uh, medium deep and... That's kind of the shades that I would use. I can use light medium by itself as well, but I like a little bit of color. So like two pumps of the light medium with one of the medium deep. They've since come out with three shades of this and the formula has also changed. I'm using the newer formula and it doesn't have quite the coverage that the older one does. And it also has chemical sunscreen in it where this one was strictly mineral. Um, I'm still toying around with it. I still like it, but I loved the original version of the Dr. Jart Premium BB more. So I am sad that they changed the formula, but um, I'll see how well I can get along with the new one. And then my daily sunscreen is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. So this is a big guy, and then I've got three of the little guys. So the Protect and Perfect has got a tint to it, and oftentimes what I like to do is mix the original that's more, you know, kind of white with the Protect and Perfect to kind of create more of a skin tone color for me, and it works out really great like that. This is a very, very moisturizing product, and I love that it's an all-mineral sunscreen with such a high SPF factor. So again, I use this every single day. I've got bottles in use. Actually, I've got another big bottle and small one in my bathroom that are just at the tail end. I'm hoping Josie Marin will have a Black Friday sale so I can stock up <laughs> because I love this stuff. I've been using it for a really long time. And then kind of coming over here and sticking to the skincare stuff before I get into some makeup, I went through two of the DHC Deep Cleansing Oils. This is a good one just to remove makeup and then I always go in with a second cleanse after this. Um, I've bought this on and off for quite some time. I can see myself repurchasing it because it's, it's not a bad price and you get a lot of product, 6.7 ounces. And it does a really good job breaking down makeup and stuff like that. So I went through two of those guys right there. And then I also toy around with the Pharmacy Clean Bee. This one has a little bit of a foaming action. So Recently, I do have one in use that's almost empty, but I use it kind of to remove sunscreen off of my neck. Or if I want to use the Foreo, I use this cleanser because it's just easier to glide over the skin. Um, I go off and on with the Clean B. Like I said, I have one in use right now, but it takes me a while to use one up because I'm really off and on with it. It does foam, which isn't the best for a drier skin type, but sometimes I want Clean B skin. <laughs> and then here is a Biosance squalene and antioxidant cleansing gel. This is another product that I purchase on and off. I've probably gone through four bottles of this thus far and I use it and then I use something else and then I go back to it and vice versa. So it's a really good one to remove makeup. I do go in with a second cleanse after this with something like the Green Clean uh, but it does remove makeup pretty well and it does not sting my eyes neither does the DHC. And then another hair care product that I have been using this for years. I get it at Sally Beauty Supply. It's the one and only argan oil oil treatment. This is the big guy. I use this after I use the leave-in conditioners that I showed you. Again, been using it for years. It just really helps to fight the frizz that I have. Um, I do have really long hair, so um, it helps to condition and keep down the frizz. And again, I have been using this stuff for so long. And then I did go through one of the Tarte Knockout Tingling Treatments. This here is some potent stuff, and I was using it in my face. It did hurt, but I felt like I felt like it was working. But then I realized it's just too much for my face. <laughs> this is some, again, some really potent stuff. If you have um, really strong skin to acids, 
um, and you're looking for something that you can you feel is effective, maybe give this one a try. But um, I have decided that this is just too much for my skin, it, or, or something I can't use every day. Maybe once a week for a really powerful acid treatment, but. Um, I did buy another one of these when I was using this and it was running low and then I decided this is kind of much. <laughs> um, so I go off and on uh, with using it every every now and again, but this is some really potent stuff. And then some exfoliating powders. This is the May Lindstrom, the Clean Dirt. Um, I go off and on with this guy. I do have another one in use, but this has got cayenne pepper in it. So um, depending on how kind of dry my skin can feel, this can burn sometimes it doesn't burn and sometimes it does but it's one of those you add water to it and just kind of use it to exfoliate and cleanse your face i don't use it unless i've cleaned all the makeup off my face first but i'm kind of coming off loving this as much as i kind of used to so um i don't know i'll probably use up what i have and i don't foresee myself repurchasing this one anytime soon who knows though i do love may lindstrom products so um here is another one i really liked this one this is the de Mamiel, uh botanics brightening cleanse and exfoliate this is a smaller bottle it's kind of similar to the clean dirt from may Lindstrom, but it doesn't have that strong like cayenne pepper in it um, but it's the same type of concept and it smells a little bit like vanilla a little bit a little bit like herbal but i really enjoyed this Demamiel is some really expensive stuff as is may Lindstrom, but i may if i use up some more exfoliators that i have and stuff i may end up repurchasing this at some time but and then this product I've gone through several of, and I have one in my shower, and I use it as well. This is a product, along with another one I'll show you in a minute, um, that I use after I use the Origins mask. Like, I'll put it on in the morning, that Origins uh, Sativa mask that I showed you, and then I'll get in the shower and wash off, like, two-thirds of it and leave a little bit on my skin, and then I pour some of this in my hand, and I work this into my skin with the leftover mask on my face, and, oh, my skin is just baby soft. Again, I've been using this for years and I really enjoy this. It's a powder that you add water to and then use it to exfoliate your face. And then the other product that I use very similar to that one, I also use these products on their own if sometime during the week I feel like I need a little extra exfoliation. This is the Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Scrub Fix. My mom actually turned me on to this. You need the tiniest amount and it just really polishes the skin. And I have another bottle of this in use. This here lasted me, I wanna say, like no joke, like six months. It lasts a really, really long time because you just need so little product, but I love this stuff. Then I've got a Sunday Riley UFO oil. This was one of my morning oils. I still go and use it every now and again, but I don't use it as rel religiously as I had been using it. So I have one in use, but I don't use it every day like I was, but I still really like this oil. Then I've got a couple face mists over here. This one is from Max and Me, the Intuitive. I got this in a uh beauty box from beauty heroes i believe and i enjoyed it but um i don't think i enjoyed it enough to repurchase the full size same with the wool fox aphrodite spray these are good ones too if you use like uh clay masks or something like that to kind of keep them moist and last a little bit longer while you're like treating your face that's kind of how i use some of these face mists sometimes but um again i enjoyed this but not enough to probably purchase a full size and then this product here, I love this. This is from May Lindstrom and it is, what is the, the Jasmine Garden. Uh, another really good face mist that I like to use with masks and stuff like that, or if my face needs a little extra hydration. I don't feel like over makeup it is effective as something like the Bio Effect or the Glow Recipe. But when masking and doing skincare treatments and stuff like that, it's really, really beautiful. So this is my last bottle and I probably will at some point repurchase this guy. And then here is the BioEffect Osa Water Mist. Um, this is, I have another bottle that I used up and I don't know what I did with it. Um, and then I just repurchased another one and I have one that's in use that's almost gone. But this is another one that I just really enjoy for spraying over makeup and giving a little extra hydration to my skin. The mister on this is quite wild so you have to hold it far back and quite a bit of product comes out at once um, but I really like the formulation of this and it doesn't like break me out or anything weird like that. Another bio effect product this is the EGF serum. This comes in a little tiny tube and it's extremely expensive so I do have another one in use and I just use this as a serum around my eyes. They do sell a specific eye serum in this line but I feel like the effective ingredients are the same between the two. You get more product for your money in this guy. 
Um, I would just blow through this if I put this all over my face because I am a kind of a heavy skincare product user. Like I use a lot of product on my face. Um, but I really like this for around my eyes. I use it as a treatment and I layer a cream over the top of it. And then I have a Clean and Clear Persigel 10 Maximum Strength Spot Treatment and a Clearasil Rapid Rescue Spot Treatment Cream. Both of these are 10% benzoyl peroxide spot treatments. Um, I've got another one. I think I got it at Target. It might be up and up. But I like to get a 10% benzoyl peroxide cream uh, for spot treating. I just feel like it's the most effective for taking down spots the fastest. And there's, again, there's many different versions of 10% uh, benzoyl peroxide treatment creams, but I used up one of each of these guys. And then I also used up one of the Paula's Choice Lip and Body Treatment Balm. Um, I've been using this for years and years and years on my lips. I have one in use right now. I use it almost every single night. There is another lip balm that I got from Primera, I think is the brand, that I've really been loving at night as well but this is just a go-to kind of staple product for me and then I've got a beauty blender cleanser solid I really love this cleanser for brushes and stuff like that but I feel like it's really expensive for the amount of product that you get for like you know bar soap basically um, so when I when I get one of these I typically just use it for traveling to like clean sponges and stuff like that but it's a really good cleanser just super expensive again for the amount of product and then I threw one of these little wet and wild uh, sponges in there. These are like one of my favorite sponges. I love this tip like that because you can really get into the inner corner well. And then I use the other end for pouncing on foundation. Uh, I get them when there's a sale on the wet and wild website and I end up paying like a dollar something per sponge. And then I switch them out probably once every two weeks. So I've gone through several of these. I just threw one of them in the empties because if you do use a more harsh soap to clean them, they do start to break up. Um, but they're so inexpensive when you can get them on sale and they're really good. They just kind of, again, depending on the soap, deteriorate a little bit faster. Okay, I've got two perfumes here that I've used up. Um, I've since repurchased this guy during the sale. This is the Replica by the Fireplace. Um, again, if you like to smell like burnt marshmallows, this is the perfume for you. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite winter fragrances. It just makes me feel all warm and cozy inside. <laughs> so that's from Replica. And the other one that I used up is the Armani Sea Perfume. This is the original. Uh, I have got the intense version that I'm using right now, which smells just like this, except for a more intense version. So, um, I need to go through that. And then I think I have a, the lighter is, I think I have another version of this. It's a little bit lighter. So I kind of want to go through those before I repurchase the original. Um, but I really love the Armani Sea fragrance. It's, it's really pretty. And then some powders up here. I went through one of these Ilia powders. This has got SPF of 20 in it. So this is the uh, Magic Sands because I think there's two shades available. I really like this powder, but there's not a lot of product and I like to use it in the summertime. But again, not a lot of product in there for as expensive as it is. So I blew through this really, really quickly. And I like to use an SPF powder to set my makeup in the, especially in the summertime. I do wear SPF every day, but I'm outside a lot, lot more in the warmer months. But I like the powder. I really like it. Just not that much product for a lot of money. And then I went through one of the Lottie London Ready Set Go Translucent powders. I love this for setting underneath my eyes. I had purchased uh, two or three on backup at Ulta and since then they don't carry Lottie London anymore so I don't even know. I think the Lottie London website I looked on there and I don't even remember if they had it on there but I really enjoyed this powder for setting underneath my eyes. The powder I really liked is this Lancome one here. It is the Long Time No Shine and I think this comes in a darker version as well. I really enjoyed this powder as well. I couldn't get the the sifter thing out of there to use up the tail bits of it. I like really could not get it out. I used a knife and everything <laughs> and it just wasn't happening. But I really enjoyed this powder. I can see myself possibly repurchasing this again. And then I've got one of the Guerlain Meteorites in O2 Claire that I used up. I always think that like I should find a purpose for these tins and I just don't have a purpose for them because I think they're so pretty. But Anyway, I use these as basically a finishing powder every single day. Another product that I can't like get any component off here to get the tail bits out of it is this Givenchy uh, Prism Liber powder. This is Mousseline Pastel number one. Another beautiful setting powder for the face. I've got another one of these in use and I've got several of the limited edition ones that I 
should use but I don't want to use because if I use them up then I gotta throw away the really pretty limited edition packaging <laughs> but I really really like this powder to um, set foundation or set my face and then I used up two of the blemish rescue bare minerals foundations I used this up earlier in the year. I recently wore this again because I do have two more that are in use and It's a little thicker than what I really like nowadays But it is a really pretty foundation on the skin for a mineral foundation I do really like it, but I just haven't been reaching for it as much as I used to so I use fair 1c with uh, medium 3C and I kind of use this on the lighter points of my face and then this one around the perimeter and then kind of buff them together. And then I've got one of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundations. I love this foundation. It's one of my favorite. It's got SPF 20. This is in the shade Cool Beige. They've since redone some of their colors and I don't think they, they sell this one anymore. So I'm trying to go through some of those shades that I purchased that they don't no longer make. Uh, currently the, a newer one called flax is like one of my perfect shades, but I love this stuff still use it still have several and then over here I've got some Stila glitter and glows. Um, I love these but their packaging because they're square You can't tighten them to make them completely airtight and a lot of mine have dried out Like I know you can do some things to revive them and whatnot, but I just I kind of can't be bothered so I'm tossing these three and I haven't really purchased any of these since because I found some cheaper ones that work just as well that are in cylinder like or circular packaging that you can tighten and they haven't dried out so then I've got three of the duo glue tinted uh, lash adhesive with vitamins this is my favorite eyelash glue and it's dark and it just does a really good job it's got a brush tip applicator so I used up three of those um, this guy I've decided is finally dead and gone this is the phantasm illusion dome eyeshadow I used to use it kind of as a highlighter on the cheeks but it's so so dry now that I can't even use it like that so time to hit the road jack and then we've got four mascaras from CoverGirl. CoverGirl just makes some of my favorite mascaras from the drugstore I think I accidentally bought a fibers one when I meant to buy the the regular supersizer I love this mascara still use it to this day still have one in use I love it it's great it's got one of those uh, plastic wand though so if you don't like that you won't like this but the formula is great it doesn't flake or smudge on me either and I have five of the essence super precise eyeliners this has got a brush tip applicator one of my favorite eyeliners to use very very inexpensive like I think they're $2.99 and, and often there's a sale at Ulta on essence so you can get them pretty cheap and it's I just really like the brush the formula it's really nice liquid eyeliner and then I've got two Tom Ford lipsticks I really stopped buying Tom Ford lipsticks just because the price tag tag is way too high for as fast as these go off and when they go off the smell is I mean there's no other terminology for it other than rancid they just stink so I've got Pink Dusk and Colin from the Boys and Girls collection that are hitting the dust they're not used up but they are smelly then we've got the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint I use taupe along with fling I use the taupe shade which is lighter or is it fling fling I think fling is lighter I use the fling shade in the beginning of my brow and the taupe shade on the outer portion and I love this this is one of my favorite products of the year I love these pen eyebrow deals and max been my favorite one I still use these every single day I don't use the powder pomade type end very often but I love the marker on these pens then I've got a milk flex concealer this is in the shade uh, fair I really love this for quite some time I've since moved on to some concealers that I like more but this is a really good uh, formula um, the Urban Decay naked skin corrector in pink I have got one of these in use I've repurchased this several several times this matches my skin really really well like just the actual coloring of my skin and so I like to use this as an under eye concealer um, again, I have one in use right now and when I run out of that one I probably will end up repurchasing this because it's quick and easy and effective this here is just kind of got old and dingy So I'm ditching it. I can't get I can't get it to twist up any higher than this and it's really really stiff It's the agave lip balm. I think they've since Reformulated it and it's a little it's not as stiff as this one was but I, I can't be bothered with that guy anymore And then we've got a wet n wild brulee single eyeshadow I love this for a matte brow bone highlight underneath the eyebrow and I've got these on backup and I've got them in use right now as well because 
eyeshadow palettes just don't always all have a matte brow bone highlight for me. <laughs> so I love the Wet n Wild Brulee eyeshadow. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lipstick in Kim KW. I actually gouged into this guy to try to use up as much as possible. And I've since repurchased another one of these. I carry one in my purse and I have one in my collection for use. I use it a lot. I love the formula. I love the color. This with Iconic Nude Lip Cheat is just beautiful. And then I got this guy in PR. This is the Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. I liked it while I had it, but again, I I like my CoverGirl Super Sizer more than that. And then this one here is amazing for just kind of almost using as a primer. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. So it just really combs out your lashes and puts a really fine coat of mascara on them. So like I would use this and then go in with the Super Sizer and my lashes just look super pretty. I have another one of these in use as well. Then there's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I would use this as well, kind of how I use the Super Sizer with the Clump Crusher first. This is a really nice mascara too, but it's got kind of a brush, a bushier brush, not like the plastic, and I kind of prefer the plastic. I know some people don't, but I kind of do. <laughs> so that's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Um, this here is a primer. Um, I had it for a while. I just don't use primers. I feel like the Clump, clump Crusher works great as a primer. In itself so it's gotten kind of old and I'm just getting rid of it. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana mascara. My buddy uh, Rachel turned me on to this. This is a beautiful mascara. The packaging is beautiful. The wand is beautiful. It's got a one of those uh, plastic curved wands which I really like but you know what I think that they uh, discontinued this mascara which really makes me sad. Um, I got it during the Nordstrom event. It doesn't even say on the sticker on the bottom what exact mascara this is but I really loved it while I had it. This is a mini of the Bare Minerals Stick Foundation in, what's the shade? Opal 01. I got this with like a coupon code on Sephora and I started using it as an eye primer. And I loved it as an eyeshadow primer and I actually used it up and I purchased the full size just to use as an eye primer. I tried to use this on the skin, didn't like it, didn't think it blended in as well um, and looked kind of thick. But I like it as an eyeshadow primer. It's got SPF 25 in there as well. And I feel like i got to protect my eyelids with the SPF too. <laughs> Getting down to the wire here. I've got a Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. This is in the shade Nug, which is a nude shade. Um, this actually was almost done because I had it in my pocket. And then I forgot to take it out of my pocket when I washed my pants. And the rest of it melted and went down the drain. <laughs> so... <laughs> Then we have got an e.l.f. lip oil. This is from the Christian Siriano collection. I've got another one of these that's almost done as well, but I like to use this when I'm done with my face makeup and I'm putting on the rest of my eye makeup. I like to put this on to kind of get the remnants of powder and foundation off my lips and also kind of condition them um, for kind of prepping for lipstick. And I have other colors of this that I use as well, but I really like this uh, lip oil from e.l.f. And then I love this Grandiose Mascara. I think this is the, is this the Grandiose Extreme? No, I think this is the original. This is a, one of the other high-end mascaras that I would repurchase. I love this mascara. It's got a plastic uh, wand as well, but it doesn't smudge or flake on me either. And I really like the wand. It just like gets every single lash. And I mean, how pretty is that mascara packaging, right? This one, I, I can definitely see myself repurchasing. Then we've got a Givenchy Cole Couture waterproof eyeliner in the shade Jade. Um, a continual repurchase for me. I use this nine times out of ten days um, on the waterline. MAC lip liner that is dried out. I think this is in the shade Voltage. Um, a NYX eyeliner that's actually not that old that is dried out as well in kind of a royal blue shade. Um, this is the, what is it called? L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer in C12 Fair. I enjoyed this while I had it. Um, again, probably won't repurchase it though because I didn't like fall in love with it or anything, but it was a good product. And then lastly here, this guy, I think they discontinued these and this has since expired. This is the Insta Ready by Physicians Formula. I also use this as an under eye concealer and an eyeshadow primer because it's got SPF 30 in it. Um, I'm really sad by the fact that they may have discontinued this because I can't find it anywhere. Um, but this was a really good product. So hopefully they're working on something similar soon. But anyway, that's all my empties from me and my assistant Poppy here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.